coffee in hand. Hair done unnecessarily. Hi. Hi. Hi friends. How are we? I am filming this amidst the COVID-19 hustle bust. Hey friends, editing Emily here, Obvi. I just wanted to come on here and say really quick, just a little bit of context. I filmed this in mid-March when everything really started happening with COVID-19. A lot had shifted very quickly, but the severity of the virus hadn't really hit media yet. So yes, the cruise ship industry is down and we don't know when life is really gonna start up again. And there are gonna be a lot of shifts and there are gonna be a lot of changes to the cruise ship industry in itself as with every industry right now but the information that I give you is very good information in my opinion it's 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 from my experience firsthand and also it's a shared experience between a lot of different people and uh, the pros and cons don't change no matter what this situation is if anything it kind of highlights the truthfulness about some of the cons of working on cruise ship life but also really highlights uh the 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 pros that would really make people want to go back to this lifestyle after this whole pandemic is over so i think it's interesting how things have shifted but they're still very much the same if there's anything that i say that seems a little like that seems out of context you can't do that right now i was also thinking about when things open back up when the cruise ship industry gets back on its feet. Because I really do think it will get back up on its feet, but it's gonna take a lot of time and I think it's gonna take a lot of different road mapping of different ways to shift old mentalities into the new normal. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Today I'm here filming a video uh, strictly about cruise ship life because I've noticed on my channel that those are really the ones that are the most popular and I feel like I should kind of bring some more of that back to you because if that's something you're really interested in, I wanna bring it to you. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about cruise ship life and I wanted to talk about pros and cons to cruise ship life and kind of go into them. I have a list right next to me so I don't know how far off this list I'll try to kind of track. I feel like I'm gonna think of more pros and cons along the way but there are some really great pros and there are some very distinct game changer cons for me. If you're new, hi, my name is Emily Martinez. You are at the home of the Forever Theater Kid. I try to bring you videos multiple days of the week, but let's admit, life is crazy and things change. So turn on that bell notification and subscribe to my channel so you know every single time I upload. Also follow me on Instagram because things are happening over there too. And sometimes that gets different videos than I bring on here, like just like kind of little ones that. I've had people ask me if I have TikTok. I do. I have zero idea how to use it and I'm very scared of it. So if anybody wants to give me a lesson, I'm down. I'm down with the kids. Okay, so let's get into it. Cruise ship life. Pros, cons. Number one pro, you get to travel the world. I mean, is there anything better than getting to travel the world, especially like while doing something you love? No, that's pretty freaking amazing. With the company I work for and in, in the department that I was in, I really was able to see the world. I got to get off at almost every single port. There were only some days where I had like port manning when there's a certain amount of people that have to stay on board in case of an emergency. But with my experience, I actually didn't have that too often and you could usually switch IDs with people which means like you can switch positions sometimes they'll just like ask you to pay them a little bit it's the currency of cruise ship life if you want something done kind of just have to throw somebody like 15 bucks 20 bucks 50 bucks 75 100 it all depends on the situation otherwise you'd have to stay on the ship and do just ask and tell people where to go when they get on board and ask them hi what do you want and it's either that or go into Sydney Australia you're gonna pay 100 bucks you're gonna do it you're gonna do it humble brag I mean here's the thing I worked really hard to get this job and it was a great job while I had it so I'm gonna brag a little bit I got to go to some of the most incredible places in the world I got to go to Australia I got to go to New Zealand was a trip Offhand, so I got to go to Singapore, Vietnam, Bali, Komono Island, various parts of Indonesia, various parts of Australia. I don't know what I think I think all the tours booked up, but many people got to see the Great Barrier Reef, although she's dead now, but she still exists. So many friends got to see the Great Barrier Reef and snorkel and scuba dive. Then just various parts of the Caribbean, the Bahamas, the West Coast, Mexico, Catalina Island. And and other ships go to Europe. Other ships go all over Asia. You can go to Alaska. Like you can go all over the world. 
world on a cruise ship. I think people still do this. There's semesters at sea where you can also travel the world. So that's a huge pro. If you like to travel, it's a great way to travel. A con of that is that you don't really quite get to spend a lot of time in each port. It's not like you get a week in a port in Spain. Sometimes you get an overnight, but for the most part, it's a day. So if you really want to experience the culture of, a, of an area, of a city, of a particular part of the world, you're not gonna get that while working on a cruise ship. You will get that by working with the people that are on a cruise ship, which is another pro I'll talk about in a couple minutes. A con that matches the traveling around the world. Like right now, you get stuck on a cruise ship in case of an outbreak of some kind. Right now, most cruise ships have, at this point, have canceled everything until further notice. They've sent all their guests home at various ports, which I don't know how that works out in terms of flights. And then I just got word that at least the company I worked for, I worked for Carnival Cruise Lines, they've sent our people, my friends, home or they've gotten a sign off date so that process is in full swing to send cruise ship employees home as well. That could be really detrimental to a lot of people's jobs to be honest with you, especially from various parts of the world. And hopefully that means they will get another job in the foreseeable future. When other outbreaks of different things have occurred, you're stuck. I know that when I was on one ship, on the ship that was in Australia, there was an outbreak of GI, a really bad like poop and throw up situation if you don't know what GI is. Imagine that on a cruise ship. And there's a lot of quarantine and we weren't allowed to go into guest areas. We weren't allowed to go almost anywhere on the ship, especially places where you could get fresh air. So you can feel very stuck. You might be seeing some of the most beautiful parts of the world, but for the most part, you're in a small little box that doesn't have any windows. So your living situation, you have to make the best of it. I've showed videos of cabin tours and stuff like that where you make it really cozy, but for the most part, you don't have windows. It's only the higher ups that have portholes and stuff, and that is like the amount of money I would pay <laughs> to have had a porthole. I might still be on a cruise ship now if I had portholes access. You can really feel stuck. You can really feel alone. You can really feel isolated uh, out in the middle of the ocean. So there are pros and cons to that, right? You see the beautiful ocean, you get the fresh air, but then for the most part, you're living in a small, itty bitty living space. Another pro, if you're an extrovert and you like meeting people, it's a fantastic way to constantly meet people. With cruise ships, there's constant newness. You get a daily routine, which I'll talk about in a second, but there is a constant changeover from different departments, people ending their contracts, people beginning their contracts, overlaps, transfers, immediate replacements, people getting fired, that happens a lot. There's this constant turnover. You're really meeting people all the time. And then if you're really into speaking to the guests and interacting with them, there's a constant turnover there. You're constantly meeting new guests. And then, yeah, there are some guests that will stay on for a couple cruises, or you might work on a company like Seaborn and have really, 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 really long cruises where the clientele will stay on for like 40 days. So you might form real connections with those people that you're on, you're basically like sharing a very small hotel with. A con to that, it could be really hard for you to make real connections. I mean, with cruise ship life, everything just kind of moves so quickly. Friendships you make last pretty long. Like I find that like I can connect with people that I ended a contract and went, I love that person still. I can connect with them so easily. But I, like I had one cast that like literally everyone got on. We all kind of had our moments, but literally like the whole cast, we love each other so much. I could see any one of them separately and have a great time. Now, it's been two years since I've seen most of them, but like I just saw my friend Ingrid that was in that cast and literally like click, bam. It was it was great, we had such a wonderful time. So it, you can form real connections with people, especially people in your team, especially if it's a smaller team, but with a big turnover, that most ships have in terms of staff and crew members, it can be hard to create a connection. If it's hard for you to put yourself out there and to meet people, cruise ships will kind of make you, it will force that new skill upon you. It could be really hard and it could feel really lonely, especially if you're really homesick and you really wanna, if you miss your partner that might be home or on a different ship, it can be super isolating because it could be really easy to just do your job, clock in, clock out, and then go back to your room and not do anything. I know that if I didn't have Gabe on the ship with me, I don't know where my mental health would be. I still really need to get into a mental health 
um, assessment of cruise ships. There's a lot to be said about what is and is not done for mental health on cruise ships and body positivity and really big issues. Those are That's a video that like, I know I keep saying I wanna talk about, but like it takes a lot out of me to even think about it. And I also wanna have research behind it. Maybe during this isolation, I'll actually get that done. A pro, once you get into it and you settle into the lifestyle that is cruise ship life, you form a routine. I love a routine. I love a daily routine. I love being able to know exactly where I'm going to be at certain times. That's probably been the biggest shift from cruise ship life to land life for me is I create my own schedule uh, when on ships it's like you didn't have any choice but to follow the schedule so I always knew what time of the day I was going to the gym I always knew how long I could be at the gym I always knew which days I could sleep in and which days I couldn't it was kind of like the moment my head got off the pillow I was starting my day of work I was getting ready for the shows at night and yeah I'd go out in port but most of the time when I go out in port I'd be editing I'd be finding Wi-Fi to connect to people back home I'd be basically doing what I couldn't do on the ship uh, online so yeah there were adventures that we went on but by the end of my cruise ship experience it was kind of just like get through the, the daily routine of what and honestly that very rarely shifted a con to that is not permanent right your contracts last for six months so kind of once you really get into the routine and you feel really comfortable then it changes again so yeah it's good and bad because it's good to change it up but it was really nice to have that solid routine it honestly really reminded me of college I could do whatever I wanted during the day for the most part until work started but if I wanted to feel productive and good about my work for the night I had to create the routine but the routine was really in the confines of what the ship's routine was so it wasn't fully like off the cuff do what you want like my life is now in terms of like oh this is adulthood you really create your own routine you create your own life what's that a pro. Cruise ship life is a great way to save money, especially as a performer. It can be very, very easy to spend money, I will say that, but for the most part, for performers, this is, so for entertainment, this is not for every cruise ship, this is not for every cruise line, this is not for every department. For the most part, entertainment does not have to pay rent, they don't have to pay for food. A lot of the times you get guest area privileges where you can go to the different dining areas that guests are also inhabiting. For the most part, like for like the specialized restaurants, you still have to pay but sometimes there's a discounted price so yeah you have more options as an entertainer on board and a lot of the times you can save a lot of money alcohol is very cheap in the crew bar I will say that but that causes problems too because people go over their limit and then you go into a, a fleet-wide rule of one drink per person it sucked one reason why I left honestly to be quite frank Gabe and I were able to create a really nice savings for our future. That's why we're able to do land life. Like, that's why we're able to kind of jump into adulthood. That's why we were able to get a dog. You know, we were able to pay off a good chunk of our wedding. We were able to pay off student loans. Cruise ship life, although there were a lot of cons, there are a lot of things that kind of made us go, ooh, cruise ship life, can't do it again. You can't help but go, paid off those student loans though. You can't disregard that, especially when you know, and you see how other people in your industry aren't that fortunate. You haven't been working all this time and now you're deciding to use the jackhammer? Are you kidding? You might be making bank. Ah! So you might, oh my God. So you might be making, we're gonna just have to finish this in the bathroom. I heard of a guy that was, he was from the Philippines, so he was in the photography department. He saved up enough money to be, op to be able to open a school in the Philippines. Like, that's awesome. I'm talking like student loans, but like to be able to open up a school for kids, that's really dope. That's really, really cool. So cruise ships can give you such an opportunity to save up money for maybe your dreams. Although there have been people with, have been with cruise ships for like 30 years and they're able to pay from various countries were able to send all their children through college. That's amazing, that's incredible. But what's, but what's the takeaway from that? You're away. You're away from your family for so long. Six to seven months at a time, sometimes longer. You know, that's the thing with cruise ship life is like you just miss so much. Like for me, I missed births of nieces and nephews, weddings of best friends that I was in the wedding. I missed really big moments for people. I missed so much, so that's a huge con. I love being on my own and I love my independence and I do love my own experiences, but to miss out on so much from back home was devastating sometimes. Like I just felt like, I felt like a pretty crap friend, a crap family member when I just 
you wouldn't be able to connect. My internet connection sucked most of the time. So like, I couldn't FaceTime my family. I couldn't talk to my mom. I couldn't talk to my dad. I had my husband, which was amazing, like huge pro. Got to sing and dance for a living. Huge pro. What sacrifice that came with was I was away from my home. I was away from everything I knew that I was comfortable with. So yeah, huge pros and cons. Most of the time you don't get a day off in cruise ship life. That's something nobody really talks about. Entertainers, we got 24 hours off. It was in our contracts. Most departments never get a day off. Maybe an afternoon, never get a day off. Never get a full day off unless they win like employee of the month, which one person wins. And I think that's criminal, number one. I think everybody should have one day off. I'm sorry, th somebody's job should be to a way to figure that out, please. That's crap. Um, I've always thought that was crap. People can't take care of themselves when they don't even get a day off. Because on cruise ships, even my day off, if I went into guest areas, I was on the clock. I have to meet a certain amount of goals every month to interact with a certain amount of guests, invite them to my shows. And this is just our department, which was nothing compared to others. I had to be on, I had to be meeting people. I had to be inviting people. So in my opinion, when I just wanted to go, don't talk to me. I wanted to go F off. I wanted to be on my own. I didn't want anybody coming up to me and talking to me because that was my entire job. And it felt privileged to be able to like have that annoyance but sometimes you just need your alone time and to be able to shut down and to shut off and you couldn't do that on cruise ships so that was a huge con too like yeah it's great meeting people and I really enjoyed meeting people and it opened me up to being able to really put myself out there in real life and to meet people and to not feel scared in an interview when I'm when I'm interviewing for things and to just interact like that helped me but sometimes you just need to be able to shut it down right and you couldn't do that on cruise ships even if you had a day off so yeah lots of lots of peaks and valleys with cruise ships lots of uh really high highs lots of really really low lows and there is a reason gabe and i are not cruise shipping anymore right like we look back and we we were actually talking about it last night before we fell asleep i was just like god i miss bali I miss Thailand and how privileged am I to be able to say that right? I know that I'm fully aware I would we would never have been able to pay for those flights to go out there and just like experience it the way We wanted to experience it the way Instagram tells you to right like we know that but it also came with a lot of sacrifice if you're interested in cruise ship life I hope that this gave you a little bit of insight to what it's like, a truthful interpretation of what cruise ship life is like. I mean, I am more than willing to get more raw and more nitty gritty in terms of mental health, in terms of body positivity. I'm very, I'm, I'm ready. Like I'm, I'm ready to start talking about that. It, but yeah, I can't disregard the wonderful times and the wonderful people and the lifelong friends that I made. And also the skills that I gained as a performer. The, the, the singing voice I have now, like, here's a clip of me singing before cruise ships. And fly me into the future, where the freedom I find is gonna make me or break me. No relations, no restrictions, no ridiculous demands. Watch this girl fly into the future. Here's a video of me singing on cruise ships. now as a performer than I was. And it's because of the rigmarole, rigmarole? It's because of the intense schedule I had. It's because of the intense limits I had to push my body and voice to. Things that I'll never disregard. And in fact, I wish that the musical theater industry gave more credit to because cruise ship work is nothing to scoff at. Cruise ship work is hard. More and more companies are going out of the realm of the old Vegas style shows, which were great and highlighted the dancers in Wonderful Ways, which is a whole other thing. Dancers versus singers, like, ah, oh, that was a whole other thing. But shows are just getting better now. Cruise ships know that they need to step up their game because sometimes entertainment and shows in the past have been seen as a joke. Well, not anymore. 
Broadway caliber is coming to cruise ships. So people on the outside, like, I just want them to be like, yeah, cruise ship work is no joke. You know, we can all go oh, cruise ships, but like, I will never disregard the amount of hustle and the amount of work and the pride that I had in the shows that we did. I loved every single show. There was one show I didn't like, but most of the shows I did, like, I really, really loved them. And they challenged me in a lot of different ways. And I wouldn't be the performer I am now if I didn't have them. So I will never disregard that. I will never disregard the friendships. I will never disregard the paycheck. But there's a lot of crap that comes along with cruise ships that nobody talks about. And I'm here to tell you about it as I'm sitting in crap. <laughs> So oh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've ever worked cruise ships and there's something that I didn't talk about and you want me to talk about it, put it down in the comments below. Or if you haven't worked cruise ships and you're just curious about this one thing that nobody's talking about, go down below. If I know something, I'll give, I'll do my best to, to answer those questions. I could do a whole nother Q and A. So if you want to ask any questions down below and I'll even maybe even put it out to Instagram too, like. Ask me, I know, I spent four years on cruise ships. I know cruise ship life. So I know, I know a lot. I don't know everything, but I know I have a lot of friends from different cruise lines, so I could ask them and get their input as well. Follow me on Instagram, don't forget to follow me there, and subscribe to this channel for all theater performing lifestyle. I'm calling this channel a, th a theater lifestyle vlog because that's what it is. So thank you so much for watching. You know what, I'm gonna put my cruise ship playlist right up here and then I'm also gonna put a little video that is specific to you that I think you will like in particular because of you, because you uh, clicked on this video. And I'll see you over in one of my other videos.